the secretive organization in Washington that's known as the family. The city leaders try to come up with a plan to stop the violence. To this day, some members of the family... These kids that are angry and they have something to say, no one's listening. A news is raising some eyebrows across the country. The families come from broken homes. The families can tell us about their family and, you know, what their background is. time I've been really getting into the Illuminati and the whole conspiracy theory, New World Order. It's entertaining to me. If it's true, it's true. If it's not, it's not. I don't care, but it's been like a little pet project of mine. It was a song that I wrote pretty much about, like, I feel like Obama's an Illuminati puppet and how it's basically dragged this country down into the worst it's ever been. And, um, I mean, I think one of them is like, you've built this house of shame. The White House used to be like, everybody looked up at the White House in America and everything, and now I think it's like a house of shame. It's like, you just hang your head down. It's like, I miss the old days when people were proud to be American. And for me, you know, studying the Illuminati and what they're trying to do, if there is an Illuminati, it's pretty much breaking the people down, breaking the people down, breaking the people down until we just give up. and. We, we create the North American Union just like they did in Europe with the Amer Euro European Union. Then the you know the Russians and the Asians will have the Asian Union. And it's all coming down to a one world government. And I, I, I can see it and I, you know, I read about it and this stuff's actually starting to happen. And it kind of freaks me out. So I wrote the song about that. Jonathan Davis, the singer of the metal band Korn, has called President Obama an Illuminati puppet. In an interview with Billboard.com, the singer had this to say. At the time I've been really getting into the Illuminati and the whole conspiracy theory, New World Order, it's like a little pet project of mine. It was a song that I wrote pretty much about, like, I feel like Obama's an Illuminati puppet, and now uh, it's basically dragged this country down into the worst it's ever been. On the band's album, Path to Totality, there's actually a song titled Illuminati where Jonathan Davis sings, they're taking over now, eating up our souls somehow, taking over now, parasites, they run around, the culprits won't be found, they lie behind the mask of wealth, they're taking over now, Illuminati. At an event in 2012, Davis was asked who he was gonna vote for, and he answered, Ron Paul. Out of the four Republican candidates in Obama, who to be personal. Ron Paul, nice, nice. Unlike most people in the music industry that mention the Illuminati, Jonathan Davis is not an Illuminati wannabe or an Illuminati poser, but instead seems genuinely concerned with the course of this country and our freedoms and economy, and said that he's been studying the Illuminati for some time because he finds it fascinating. And it seems his search has led him to me because for some time now, Jonathan has followed me on Twitter. Since I have obsessively and compulsively been researching them and exposing them for almost a decade now. Hell you put me through
TMZ to many zombies, the celebrity sewage pipe that you're all unfortunately familiar with, made a mistake and actually reported on real news for a change. Uh, the celebrity stalkers caught up with Jonathan Davis, the singer of Korn, and asked him about his new music video, Spike in My Veins, which, if you haven't seen it, seen it, go and check it out. It is a powerful video that just absolutely destroys Miley Virus, Kanye Pest, the National Spying Agency's Orwellian rollout. But leave it to TMZ, the biggest celebrity distraction on the planet, uh, headed up by the sippy cup-obsessed sicko uh, Harvey Levin. Uh, to say that it was always all aboard the crazy train. Oh, yeah, Davis, quote, spewed a theory. Yeah, he just spewed a theory about Obama using celebrity scandals as a, quote, distraction. Well, he screws us out of our freedoms. Oh, oh, Obama loves our freedoms. He's not screwing us out of our freedoms. The, the National Spying Agency Big Brother loves you. Of course, TMZ just would try to ridicule them. But then they, they linked up the video down on the bottom, so they're just really helping Jonathan Davis and the message. You see, any weapon that the enemy forms against us will not prosper. You see, maybe you're not familiar, but um, Jonathan Davis actually called Obama an Illuminati puppet a couple of years ago in an interview with Billboard magazine. And on their album, The Path of Totality, there is a song called Illuminati. And Jonathan has said in interviews that he has studied the Illuminati and the New World Order extensively, and so that is why he has spoken out against them.